for Mary's College Foundation Information Evening. I'm Shay Williams, one of two Foundation teachers, and this is my classroom, Foundation B. Come on in. Hi everybody, I'm Anne Spencer. I'm currently the level coordinator for Prep to Year 4 and I just wanted to have a chat to you about our prayer table. Each morning our children come in in all classes and they uh, come together in prayer. They know that this is a time of um, reflection as well as respect and they each have an opportunity to say a prayer because we're all in our circle. Um, they'll hold the mercy cross in their hands as it goes around the circle. They can say a prayer to God about anyone that they'd like to ask to get better or have a good day. Um, otherwise, they can say something in their hearts. We all say a prayer together at the end of it. It takes about five or ten minutes to do our prayer in the morning, but it is a, a um, very respectful and very calm way to start the day. Each day we do literacy for two hours. This includes reading, writing and spelling. Within the reading block we do the daily five and the children participate in two different groups and they work within sometimes mixed ability or sometimes varying abilities. We also do up these anchor charts for the, the different groups that way the children are fully aware and understand what the expectations are and they, are, they contribute to these anchor charts as well. Davies. I'm one of the foundation teachers here at St Mary's College. We look forward to meeting you soon. At St Mary's, we use an inquiry-based approach when teaching the subjects of the humanities, including civics and citizenship, economics and business, geography and history. We also use an inquiry-based approach when teaching science. Students learn key STEM and life skills through inquiry-based learning. Inquiry-based learning also promotes social interaction, exploration, argumentation and reasoning, and positive attitudes to failure. The boys and girls will also have the opportunity of exploring their inquiry topic in other learning areas. Within that, we also have our specialist subjects, which include physical education, performing arts, art, Helping your child become a more independent individual. At St Mary's we encourage and foster your child's independence by working alongside you. A few examples of daily actions and routines to be encouraging independence are to carry, pack and unpack their school bags, saying goodbye at drop-off times easily, making decisions of where they will play at recess and lunch times, learning and playing alongside their peers by putting on their own socks, shoes and jumper and using the bathroom facilities independently. We also encourage and foster independence when solving basic problems and in turn this will help self-regulate their emotional response. Let's 
going to get our hour. Jumper if we're not wearing it. What else do we have in terms one and two? I uh, one and four. Our hat. Oh, and a spare set of clothes. All right, we'll keep those in our school bag. Where does our school bag go? Great work. Should we turn it around so we can get into it easily? Excellent work. Well done. That's it. Good work. And now we can take our things into the classroom. Well done. Thank you, Ella.